So last we have done that x is equal to x naught sine theta, which is also x naught sine omega t. This is the equation between displacement and the time. Next, velocity is equal to x naught omega cos theta rv is equal to x naught omega cos omega t. This is the relation between velocity and time. And the next acceleration is equal to minus x naught omega square sine theta, which can be written as minus x naught omega square sine omega t. So these are the important equations for simple harmonic motion. But to prove the simple harmonic motion in the oscillating object, we must prove that A is equal to minus x omega square, mean A directly proportional to x, but opposite in direction. So this is actually the equation which tests the simple harmonic motion in the oscillation of the object. So this is a test, the equation fit in it. So it is simple harmonic motion. So the topic of the day is examples of the simple harmonic motion. So example number one, it is simple pendulum. So for the simple pendulum, we can draw this pendulum. This pendulum is under the effect of, under the influence of two forces. One is tension up, other weight down. So in the equilibrium, tension is equal to weight, mean tension is equal to mg. But, when this pendulum starts oscillation, so this is the path of the pendulum. Suppose pendulum is in this position or at this position, so this is the weight. Now tension is not exactly opposite to the tension, so this is not equilibrium. This is the angle of the displacement from the equilibrium line, so when this tension line is extended, this angle is also theta. So component of the weight adjacent to the angle is x component. And then here is the y component, w y. When weight is resolved into its component, x component is balancing the tx. So Tx, or sorry, T is equal to Wx. So tension is balanced by W cos theta. So it is balanced, but the problem is this Y component is unbalanced. So we will write this Wy is unbalanced no force here at the back of it to balance it. So it is unbalanced. And number two, it is bringing the object back to its original position. So the force which brings the displaced object back to its equilibrium position is called 
restoring force and it is represented by the symbol negative restoring force is represented by negative symbol so this wy number one is the unbalance and number two is restoring so we can write wy which is equal to w sine theta must be equal to ma with negative sign because it is unbalanced according to newton's it is equal to ma restoring minus so w mg and sine theta when m cancelled finally it is minus g sine theta so this is important derivation okay now in this triangle this is the angular displacement and this is called the linear displacement suppose it's x so this is the displacement x and this is the length of the pendulum and according to mathematics angle ke opposite wala jo hota hai wo beta ye side jo hoti hai that is perpendicular but 90 degree ke samne wali side this is called hypotenuse so in this right angle triangle we can write sin theta perpendicular over hypotenuse mean x over l look this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse so x over l is sin theta so i can replace this sin theta here a is equal to minus g x over l now a is equal to minus x g over l g constant l constant so when this portion is constant then we can write x and a directly proportional but opposite in direction and simple harmonic motion is produced because this pendulum oscillation is obeying the definition of shm but sometimes we have to prove the equation which is a is equal to minus x omega square for this particular equation for the simple harmonic motion we will write time period of the pendulum which is 2 pi under root l over g we will get help from this so it can be written as t over 2 pi under root l over g and when under root is cancelled so t over 2 pi whole square it becomes g uh, sorry it becomes l over g now the reciprocal inverse is this 2 pi over t I mean it is g over l and we know that 2 pi over time period is omega square so 2 pi over t is omega square g over l now go back to this equation here we can replace this minus x the g over l omega square so this equation is proved so we can prove that this is obeying the equation a is equal to minus x omega square which is exactly the equation of simple harmonic motion now suppose we take two surfaces which are inclined with the horizontal at the same angle theta theta both sides suppose this angle is 40 degree then this angle is also 40 degree this slope is a this slope is b so their angle of inclination is same and next assumption is they are frictionless because the surface is lubricated uh, now we place here a lead shot or any small sphere of the glass when it is released it moves down then here it goes up 
it stops here, it comes back, it rises here, here. So it is oscillating like a pendulum. So we have to check where the motion is simple harmonic or not. It is oscillating like a pendulum up and down, left, right. So equation is A directly proportional to minus X. So we have to prove here that A and X both are directly proportional. So first, in AS, we have done at a slope, acceleration is G sine theta. When the object is here, its angle from the horizontal line is theta. When it comes down, it rolls down, at this point, the angle theta remains same. So there is no change in the value of the sine theta. Here, the G 9.81, here, the G 9.81, no change. So it mean due to constant value of the G, due to constant value of the theta, the product is constant. So thus acceleration is constant, but the displacement of this position is greater then this displacement, so the displacement is decreasing, acceleration is constant, so it is not a simple harmonic motion. Because displacement is changing, but the acceleration is not changing, so it's not a simple harmonic motion, but when we will take a curved track like this, And the object is rolling down, moving up, coming down like this at this position. Angle is this. When it's this position, this angle is different. Suppose this angle is 60 degree. This may be 25 degree. Look, when angle is decreasing, displacement is also decreasing. So this type of the motion is simple harmonic motion. So the same motion of the ball on the curved track will be simple harmonic motion. But if the track is constant slope, they are inclined at the same angle, then the oscillation, the motion of the ball is not simple harmonic. Move to example number two. Suppose this is a helical spring. Its initial length is L, I mean unloaded length is L. And then, I mean after measuring its length, it is loaded with some load and make sure that the limit is not exceeded, which is called the limit of proportionality is not exceeded, then this gap, this vertical gap is called the change in length. Just go up, extension. Now, according to Hooke's law, F is equal to KE, so we can replace this F with the load K delta L, extension delta L. So we can write Mg K into delta L. Now, it can be written as G over L is equal to K over M. So this is the ratio between K and M and G over L delta L now go back to the previous equation. G over L is omega square. So delta L is also a length. So we can replace with omega square. So number one, omega square is equal to G over L. When the pendulum length is given, if the object is rotating in a circle, then it can be written as G over R, length is replaced with this radius, and number two, omega square, also K by M. 
So this omega angular speed depends on the four factor G, number two L, number three K, number four M. So do remember, if G is constant, L is constant, R constant, K material constant, M constant, so there is no effect on the angular speed. So angular speed depends on these four factors. So when angular speed depends on four factor, then the time period and frequency will also depends on these four factors. The beta time period ho, frequency ho, omega ho, g, l, k, m pe depend karti hai. In charo mein se kisi ko aap change nahi karte, to time period same rahega. Look, when the pendulum is oscillating in your experiment, you are not changing length, you are not changing the mass of the bob, you are not changing the material of the thread and the material of the bob, right? So you are not changing the length, so the time period remains same. Beshak ab dur se chode, nazik se chode, time period remains same because the time period does not depend on the displacement, it depends on these four factors G, L, K, and M. Okay, next. Now this loaded spring. is further pulled down with extra force. And extra force is this. Now the question is, what is the total force stored in the spring due to extension, due to deformation? So we will measure again the gap between these two points, and this is the further displacement to get the total force stored in the spring, we will write K and E total. So the total force in the spring is not the weight, this is F plus W. So K, now the total extension is the previous extension plus the new extension X, so this is the total force now stored in the spring. Okay, after stretching, after pulling it down, this is the force which is stored in the spring. Now the spring is released, posed. When spring is released, it moves up and then it comes down. It starts vertical oscillation up and down. And we have to show that this oscillation which is up and down of the spring is S, H, M, R naught. So look, when this system, this loaded spring is released, one force which is acting up is the total force in the spring, which is K, E plus X, and one force which is acting down is its weight M, G. So one up, other down. So we'll go for the resultant force. So the resultant force FR is equal to upward total force minus downward weight. So upward is K, E plus X, and minus downward is weight. And the weight is this, K delta L, which can be written as KE because delta L is E. So this weight can be replaced with Ke. So the resultant force is Ke plus Kx minus Ke. Ke, Ke cancelled. So the resultant force left is Kx. So this is the resultant force. And the resultant force means the force which will produce acceleration in the object. Now look, this is resultant and every resultant force is equal to MA. This force is bringing the spring back to the equilibrium position, so it's restoring. So minus MA is equal to KX, so we can write A is equal to minus X, K over M, K constant, M constant, look, A directly proportional to minus X. So it is simple harmonic motion, but for the equation, Look here, 
k over m is omega square. So in the final equation, when we will replace this minus x, this omega square, so we will get exact equation of the simple harmonic. So the oscillation of this pendulum up and down is simple harmonic, right? So after comparing these two equations, a here, a here, minus here, minus x here, it means this k over m is omega square. So omega square k over m. And omega can be written as here k over m under root. So omega can be replaced with 2 pi f. So o pi f is k over m. So the frequency of the oscillation will be 1 over 2 pi under root k over m. This is the frequency of the oscillation. Yes, any question now? Yahan se start kiya beta. Example number three. Oh, zar check kare. Any question? Pehle K1, K2 is ko equal rakha. The trolley ko extend kiya. Ek side pe extension se aada. Ek side pe kaam. Aar phir resultant force nikali. Resultant force bani ye wali ji. Sir, last step, repeat it again, sir. Sure, sir. Here, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, sir, FR is a resultant force. So, resultant force is MA. And this is going to spring on its own place. So, we will say restoring. And I have told restoring that the symbol is minus. It means that the sign is minus. So, I have minus. जी अब उसके बाद बेटा मैंने a को इधर रखा minus x m को इधर divide कर दिया k1 k2 divide by m कर दिया अब k1 और k2 मिलाएंगे तो एक और k ही आएगा ना पांच भेड़ों और चार भेड़ों को मिलाएंगे तो आपके पास nine sheep ही बनेगी ना goat तो नहीं बन जाएगी ना तो material तो वही होगा ना constant ही होगा ना quantity तो वही होगी बड़ी हो या छोटी हो so when this is constant this is constant then this and this both are directly proportional with negative sign. So, this is a simple harmonic motion. Now, if you put omega on the place, then the omega square you have to do it. If you compare it, then if you put it on the omega square, then this will be done. And under root, then the omega will come. If you put the omega on the 2 by f, then the frequency will come. Yes. Any question? Yes, sir. This is the frequency of 1 by 2 pi, only 1 by 2? Sorry, 1 by 2 pi, yes. जी नहीं है क्वेश्चन आगे चलते हैं जी थोड़ा सा और पढ़ना है जी एनी क्वेश्चन है कोई नहीं है 